Hey guys, I wanted to share something with you that I found the other day quite by accident, but I thought it was worth making a quick little video to share. So it has to do with this section over here when you're using image ink and when you're painting with a texture. Um, so let's take a look at the scene. Right here I've got a material which I'm going to be painting on this turtle's skin and I want to paint a texture with using image ink. So I choose airbrush and a uh, <clears throat> a tip and then image ink and then I select my texture and then you click in the viewport. Now of course you can scale this up and down and you can move it and you can rotate it as you like. One of the cool things about it, I just painted on that a little bit, is that it does scale. You know, so you can zoom in if you wanted more detail or less detail. And you can see that depending on the zoom rate, the image in terms of scale changes. So you've got a really big area. Wait, I will let me soften this border a little bit. So you can see I've got a really big scale here, even bigger. I get in a little closer and it's great for little say detail areas, in this case around the eye. Great tool. One of the things though it can be a disadvantage is if say that you wanted to paint without scaling, you wanted this texture or whatever texture, it doesn't matter, to be the same scale across this. See as you zoom in it doesn't scale. I mean this texture stays the same unless you use this auto scaling feature and I'll show you that here in a second. I'm going to undo this stuff and get us back to where we were. Alright so now what you want to do is set the scale of your texture. Let's just say that's the perfect scale. <clears throat> you hit auto scale and size your brush and you start painting. Well check this out and I did not even know this like I was saying let me soften the border of the brush a little bit but it's really slick so you can zoom in and you don't have to worry so much about how how much you zoom but the scale is going to be the same across your subject which is pretty slick. Now in this case it's real organic so this wouldn't be I wouldn't necessarily need a the same scaled subject across this you know, I might want to have more detail around the eyes or the lips or something like that but it's pretty neat that it can do that and that little button right there is a new discovery for me so anyway check it out hope uh, you liked the video thanks